All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is actually the second part of another video that I'm currently making, and I'm just gonna dive right into it. I'm gonna show you guys what I got going on over here. All right, so I got the car, basically the bumper is taken off. Um, I got the compressive tuning smart flow shroud right there that I removed, and I ended up installing this Velocitech big mouth snorkel. So what it does is it directs air from the grill and this is sealed by the way, so it directs air from the grill through this shroud and into the intake. And this eliminates any sort of opening that you have in the front, meaning air is only flowing in through this one spot right here. And if you haven't seen the install video to this, I will link it down below. I actually had a hard time with the Hellahorn bracket, so I ended up taking that off and just using the black tabs that the horns came with. So that's all set. What we have today, something pretty cool. Um, I've been wanting to change this front grill for a little while now, and I figure with the new addition, the snorkel, I wanted to make that thing as visible as possible. And with the stock grill, for the 2018 plus WRX is it's kind of covered on this part right here and there's a few little spots right there that are kind of covered I know I, I can cut these out but I just I don't want to deal with all of that so I ended up buying a new grill and so yeah we're gonna be installing that today I will go ahead and unbox it over here and I'll show you guys what's inside so I'm gonna go ahead and open it so my hands are a little dirty because I like I said I was working on the car and uh, I didn't want to make that video too long, so I decided to make a separate one. Go ahead and get this thing open. So what we got here is the JDM style front grill from Basin R. And now the reason why I chose Basin R is because I currently run their front lip and the rear spats, which I'll show you guys in a second here. This one had some good reviews on there and I'm actually impressed by how uh, decent this thing is. It's not flimsy and it has a little bit of weight to it, which is good. And as you can see, it's uh, fully open, meaning I can see everything behind the grill, which was the goal to begin with. So the cool thing about this thing is that it comes with the emblem holder. So right here, as well as the clip to clip it from behind and then the screws, but we're not gonna be using this today. I kinda wanna run with, but yeah, like I said, the front bumper is already off. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the stock one, transfer over the front camera hole cover, and then uh, get this thing installed. And here's the front lip that I have from Basin R. This is actually the second one that I have from them. The fitment is decent. It's not perfect, but it'll do, and it's affordable. And I got the rear spats right here. They're a little dirty, but the fitment on these guys are spot on. And these are the CS style. They're flat, meaning they work with the USDM arrow guards. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started on this. All right, hopefully you guys have a good visual on this. So we're behind the bumper, and there are two, four, six, eight screws that we have to remove and I'm just going to be using a screwdriver. Alright guys, so after you get the eight screws removed, you want to go ahead and remove this upper trim right here, just along the top of the grill. I think you just want to get your flathead and pry it out. So once you get one off, the rest should just come right off. And uh, you wanna save this because we'll be using it for the new grill. If you look closely, there's these little tabs right here. And you simply just wanna push those to the side and then push the grill and it should come right out from the front. And then there's also these tabs on the bottom right here. So be careful with the tabs. What you wanna do is you wanna push the bottom and it should slide right in. Let's just go all around this thing. And we got just a comparison between the two. Pretty similar in style. The only difference is that, well, these right here are not blocked on the Basin R, whereas this one is blocked on the top and it has this line right here. But this one's just cleaner. Other than that, they're pretty similar in style. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this camera hole cover transferred. Yeah, I believe they're just held in by some screws. 
I'm gonna remove that and then put it on the new grill. So you just take the cover and you just place it in there like so. And as you can see, it just covers that hole right up. And now we're ready to mount it back on the bumper. All right, so we got the grill. We're gonna go from the front and just put it back in there like how we took it out. Get all the tabs through. There we go. And make sure the holes line up. And don't forget these top tabs right here. There we go. And now, finally, we want to get this uh, top bracket and just slide it over these tabs right here. Lot of trouble with that top bracket right there. Got it all secured and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, screw it on. And remember we took out eight screws. And you can feel free to use power tools here. I just, I don't feel comfortable doing that just because we are dealing with plastic and I don't wanna strip or break anything. That looks really good. Even with that thing in the middle, I think that's where the emblem goes, so I'm not worried about it, but it looks a lot cleaner and a lot meaner. And on second thought, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and throw that front lip back on while the bumper's off. It's a lot easier that way than having to do it on the ground laying down, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and then get the bumper slapped on the car. All right guys, so I finally got the bumper back on and I'm just sitting here just enjoying this grill. It's crazy how it makes it look so much more aggressive, but the styles are pretty similar. You know, it's not carbon fiber or anything and the shape is even the same, but it just makes it look that much more aggressive. And I really like how you can see the Velocitech snorkel in the back. love the way it looks right there and of course I got the front lip back on that one took me a lot longer than I wanted it so far everything is good I'm gonna try to spray the car down tomorrow and then get some shots outside in the daytime so you guys can see exactly what it looks like Installing the front grille itself was pretty easy. I think the hardest part honestly was putting the bumper back on I have a TBW skid plate and it takes so much work just to get those tabs in under there and just trying to avoid scratching the sides and everything like that is just a lot of work but regardless we got it done and now I can just sit back and enjoy it a little bit. Fitment on this thing I would honestly rate a 10 just every side of it is just perfect on here and like I said installation was a breeze eight screws and a couple tabs but other than that, it's clean. I like it. I think eventually I do want to get a badge for the front. I just don't know what color. I don't even want to think about it right now. I'm just really tired. But so far, the car is coming along. If you guys haven't seen it yet, I have the latest addition to the engine bay. The custom engine bay cap from Melee Design Firm. These are actually Billet Works branded, but they're available through Melee Design Firm with the custom design. So overall, I'm pretty satisfied with where the car's at right now. The way it looks, I mean, uh, especially with the addition of the new grill, it just looks a lot more aggressive than before. Got the full lip kit going on, little engine bay bits, and so far, I'm pretty satisfied with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick install of the front grill. I'm gonna go ahead and continue filming my other video of the Velocitech snorkel. Now I'm just curious what grill you guys are running and why you picked that one. Let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one.